more than 100,000 children in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region could suffer life-threatening malnutrition in the next 12 months. That's according to the United Nations Children's Agency, who says they're about to run out of the formula used to treat 4,000 severely malnourished children every month. UNICEF spokesperson Marixi Mercado at a news conference Friday. As UNICEF reaches areas of Tigray that were inaccessible in past months due to insecurity, our worst fears about the health and well-being of children in that conflicted region of northern Ethiopia are being confirmed. Tens of thousands of people have been displaced, food stores have been looted, Without sufficient humanitarian assistance, child malnutrition will rise beyond the already alarming levels, leading to increased risk of mortality among a vulnerable population. The UN says that around 400,000 people are living in famine conditions in Tigray, where fighting between rebellious regional and federal forces has continued since November. Spokespeople for the Prime Minister and a government task force on Tigray did not immediately respond to requests for comment on UNICEF's statement. Doctors in two hospitals in the region said they saw between four to ten severely malnourished children monthly before the conflict erupted. Now, those numbers have more than doubled. At least three children have died in Wukro Hospital since February, according to one nurse. The UN says that Tigray needs 100 trucks of food daily to prevent mass starvation. Only 50 trucks have gotten through in the past month.